Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I want to remind you that your building inspector has yet to issue a permit that I applied for a refund re-roof for my house on 498 High Street. Moisture is going to destroy my property. I want that permit. Mr. Chairman, the community choir has done some additional work on the building on Altman. Could they apply for a permit? And were they required to hire a licensed contractor? Do we have two sets of rules? Mr. Chairman, uh, is your building inspector still going to Eureka? Does the city have a contract to provide inspections for Eureka City and County? If so, what did they pay for any services rendered? On September 13, 2019, your building inspector seen in Eureka in a city county vehicle with his wife. Does the city ensure non-employees, employee spouses, or the public in general to be able to ride or use city county vehicles? Your inspector's violation of policies. You can't have it both ways. Mr. Chairman, the parking lot owned by the convention center located between the jailhouse casino and the Four Sevens Motel has been redone and the center walkway has been has not been put back in. There is a lack of ADA access and the drain area needs to be concrete, not asphalt. Who approved that plan? When you have parking, you have to have a walkway for the people to go from point A to point B. You put them out in the street. It's bad enough that someone might have trouble walking, let alone in a wheelchair. That thing needs to come out and it needs to be corrected. Mr. Chairman, I reported the ingress egress on Avenue D, located near the Holiday Inn, does not meet minimum street widths as required by code. The curb located on the north side of Avenue D needs to be five feet from the property line, not to 11 feet. You've narrowed that street much too narrow. And there is not a flat walkway for proper ADA access. A person can't walk on it if they have trouble walking, let alone a wheelchair. The concrete triangle is splitting the approach to Altman near the Holiday Inn. <coughs> needs to come out and replace with a narrower land divider made of concrete or maybe six inch uh, steel posts, metal posts. You have a calamity about to happen there. Simple safety person would tell you that. Mr. Chairman, Councilman Sam Hansen has yet to put in the required crib and gutter his home that he's recently sold. Former Councilman Tony DeFleece's fence is still in compliance with uh, city code heights. Keith Carson has yet to remove the modular home from his trailer park. I was allowed to put a modular home on my lots. You're discriminating under color of law. You can't have it both ways. Keith Carson has yet to remove the horses on his property, which is within the city limits. Anything within one mile of city limits, city code applies. He can't just blatantly do whatever he wants. You have code, you need to enforce them, or you may want to do something else. Mr. Chairman, your building inspector has yet to address the deficiencies on the reboot job on my building at 57 Altman. The roof still leaks and the brick that was removed at the back of the building has yet to be replaced. Your building inspector signed off the project telling me I hired a poor contractor. I okay. pay for protection either the contractor who corrects the problem or the city is responsible. I okay. want it corrected. All right. All right. I'm, I'm not only towards the end here. I'd like to ask the building inspector if he has anything to say about any of these allegations. They've all been Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I expect to see some progress. All right. Well, we're trying to make it uh, more uh, easier for people to uh, accommodate these RVs next year. So, you know. I like the word easier. Unfortunately for me, you're choking me down to nothing. 
And that oh, needs to be resolved. We're trying, we're trying to get the city council to see our, our way here. Well, uh, uh, just cut me some slack, Mr. Chairman. You're well, not uh, doing me any favors right now. All right. Well, anyway, so um, I'm going to call for adjournment. Uh, I need a motion to adjourn. I so move to adjourn the meeting. Okay. And Marie, would you like to second that? Yes, I would. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank the, you. The meeting is now adjourned. This has been a Georgetown production, George Chatches reporting. The preceding program was sponsored by The Greek, Ely's Radio Shack dealer at 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by KGTV Channel 10 in Ely, Nevada.